Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I would say we get an influx of a few new people every day at live.perillo.com where this chat is constantly going. And, and one of our new visitors today uh, came to us after I subscribed to his videos in YouTube. He was demonstrating uh, a few products, some of which I had, some, some I didn't. And I just was kind of drawn in. I'm like, this is kind of cool. I like people who play with gadgets and, and show me what they think. Uh, so I subscribed to him. He jumped over to the page and started interacting with the chat room. And then we got on the topic of, well, Chris, what do you do for a living? And a lot of people have asked that. And the bottom line of what I do is I create content. And the way I afford to be able to create content is using advertising networks and advertising programs that are out there. I also sell my own ads. Uh, but relying on big, popular programs like Google AdSense has really, really helped. So Google has created a way that content publishers can keep doing what they're doing and you sign up for a, for a Google AdSense account for free. They'll give you a little bit of code you can put into your web page and then when someone comes to that page if they see your ad and they click the ad you'll get paid. Now you can't tell people to click the ad that's against the terms of service but this is what I do so if you go to uh, some of some if not all of my web pages chances are you've seen Google AdSense on those pages and uh, again, I get paid based on the advertisers and type of advertisers that happen to be on the pages that this particular bit of code is in. It's a great way, it's an easy way of creating content and making money. In fact, LockerGnome.com uh, is in the process of, of being retooled. We've been beta testing, letting people who want to write content come to LockerGnome and generate revenue based off of my knowledge of search engine optimization and Google AdSense optimization placement and and you know all, all these things that I have in my head we're essentially turning over to the greater community uh, for anybody who wants to blog on Locker Gnome for free and everybody gets to make money. So this this guy, uh, I'm sorry I didn't catch your real name, I apologize, Thought Fix. Uh, he, he was mentioning a couple of his websites, one of which being ultramobilegeek.com, asking about how he would go about optimizing his Google AdSense placement. And, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to give this, you know, help for free. I, I do it all the time. Some people buy or sell, you know, hundreds of dollars worth of ebooks on this stuff. But to me, it's just like, oh, well, this is all you got to do. So here's all this guy's got to do it. Ultramobilegeek.com. I'm looking at it right now. It looks like it's a, a blogger account, which means that the template or the page uh, look and feel isn't likely to be very customizable. Uh, but the thing that jumps out at me the most is that this is in the wrong place. He's got a little banner here, the ads by Google banner, uh, but I skipped over it the first time I looked at this page. I saw the title of the page and I jumped right to the content. That's what most people do. So he put the banner in between those two things. That's that's a wrong place to put it. That's that number one. Number two, uh, it doesn't blend with the background. So the background of his, his content is white, but the background of his banner is like a light silver. Well, the background is on, on that the banner and the ad set should blend with the background uh, background of the page, meaning that it should be white or com like almost transparent. And that would mean making a quote unquote transparent or white border around the ad as well. That's certainly going to help. Uh, he's also got a, a the size of the banner is a 468 by 60. That's pixel size is what we're talking about there, which isn't likely the best ad format for you to use, even if even it's in the wrong or right spot. Uh, the one that is seemed to give the most amount of return is the 300 by 250 ad block for a lot of different reasons. Uh, if you put that block, or if you have the ability to put uh, that ad block either right after your content and before the comments, or if you take a smaller ad block and, and if you can put it kind of beside the content of your post, that's certainly going to get you a, a little further in terms of results that you're seeing. Because my guess is, is as in this position, you're not seeing much results at all. In fact, I bet you, you'd be lucky to make a dollar a day with this particular position. Uh, but at least you've done the right thing and not put the ad in the sidebar. That's typically not a good thing. Uh, you know, don't put ads on the page as an afterthought. If you're trying to make money, you know, do it in a way that you know, is going to be good for you and is going to benefit the reader. I've always looked at Google AdSense as less, it, it, yeah, it's advertising and sponsorship, but, you know, I found it to be extremely useful, especially if I'm looking for related information on a page, if I come to it through the search engines, or if I come to it uh, through a friend, if I'm really genuinely interested in more information. To me, it's less like advertising and it's more like related links. 
and and that's always helpful if I'm again looking for more information. So you know that, that those are some you know, general guidelines in terms of of what you might think about and how you might think about um, you know placing ads on a page or even you know signing up for Google AdSense to begin with. I I've been using it pretty much since they they started the program and it's it's been absolutely amazing for me.